Hi guys, I'm Courtney Sampson and these are 10 tips that will help you do the most in music in 2024. The first step I'm going to give you is really simple, it is to set your goals. You need to know exactly which workshops you want to attend, which festivals you want to go to, which competitions you want to enter, which concertos you want to play. The point is to sit, sit down every single goal that you have for this year. Write it down in your notepad, write it down on your notes app in your phone, write it down on a piece of paper and hang it on your mother's fridge. The point is just to write it down so that you know what your vision is for 2024. Step two is to do research on how you're going to go about doing these things. This means finding out which organizations are involved with which festivals, which jam sessions you need to be going to if you're a jazz musician, which workshops you need to be going to to work on your technique, which people you need to be getting in contact with to be able to ensure that you do the most in 2024. This is one you probably heard a thousand times, if not a million, and it is to practice. Nothing is worse than someone who gets the opportunity but is not prepared to take it. So you have to be this person that has a vision, has a practice to get to where you need to be. And the only way you're going to get any of these things or accomplish any of them at all is if you practice. Step four to securing the bag in 2024 is social media. Now, if you know me, you know how much I love social media, hashtags, content creation, everything that involves social media. Social media is not just there for you to be posting cute pictures about sunsets or sunflowers with your friends, but instead social media can be used for you to market your music to the area that you're staying in your community, but also to the world. Consistency, okay? I, for one, am someone that struggles with this as well, but this is what we're going to do in 2024 because we're all becoming new persons, right? So... You're going to be consistent with your posts. If you're an Instagram person, you need to be setting up times where you're going to post every single gig that you play, every single jam session you go to, every single workshop that you attend, every single festival that you sign up for. You need to be making sure that you're using your social media for what it's there for, to market yourself, to get to know other people and to connect, but you need to be doing this consistently. Furthermore, your consistency should not just only be on social media, that should also be with your research and your practice, especially your practice. The next step, step six, is one that the introverts are absolutely going to hate me for, but it is one that is pivotal into getting all your connections for 2024 in your music. This means you're going to have to send a couple of DMs, like a few posts, write a few comments. You're going to have to connect. And I don't mean following your favorite artists that are famous that are absolutely not going to read your comments but i mean you need to be connecting with your peers and fellow musicians from fellow universities fellow campuses fellow schools people you meet at workshops people you meet at these festivals jam sessions whatever you need to connect with these people and i know it can be daunting to send a dm and say hey but once you do it and the more consistently you do it the easier it's going to become. Number seven is one that everyone is absolutely going to judge me for, but I've seen the step work on TikTok every single time. And you're going to follow the trends, okay? I said it. The trends are what's going to set your content apart from the rest. As you do music, you get to be creative about it, but especially for the jazz musicians. The next step, which is number eight, that you're going to be doing in 2024 is being present. What I mean by being present is attending as many workshops, concerts, festivals, performances, jam sessions, whatever you can think of that's going to aid your music career, you're going to be there, you have to be present. Why not just go out there, meet the people that you've met and become friends with, and also showcase your talents. Number nine, to making sure that you have the best time in 2024 for your music career, is by building a portfolio. So this is something that doesn't have to necessarily be for the world to see it's something where you can just keep track of everything you've done so far in your career and your studies as a musician this can be anything as simple as teaching community outreach performances of different ensembles and orchestras everything that you've ever done you're gonna write it down you're gonna list it down so that one day when you apply for that perfect orchestral job you have a nice resume last but not least and absolutely the most important step for 2024 is having Fun. This is your career, this is your studies, this is your journey, this is your path. And one thing that you absolutely have to do while you're on it is have fun. Every single memory you can make, 
make it every single thing you can learn learn it every single thing that you can do to push yourself out of your comfort zone for yourself and for your career just go do it guys so for this year whatever you do make sure that you take your career into your own hands and have fun with it please leave a like a comment and subscribe to this channel for more content like this bye